Let's see a bit further on this, and lots of you have been reacting to this. Ben Boachi, Executive Director of the Africa Centre for Energy Policy, he joins me on the telephone. Mr. Boachi, good evening to you. Now, uh, you've heard the LPG marketers making a projection that by June we'll be paying a double for what you're even paying now for LPG. Is that a projection you share? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, the, the, the projections are based on assumptions, right? So if those assumptions are realized, then, of course, you would have uh, uh, the price go up that much. But we can hope that it doesn't uh, get to that extent. So I think they are looking at the exchange rate and also the geopolitical uh, uh, troubles that we have in the east um, of Europe. So um, if the, the, the war continues and there's pressure on demand, then of course you have international price go up. And if our city is also uh, remains unstable, uh, that could also, uh, you know, exert a lot more pressure uh, on us. But we're hoping that uh, OPEC and other strong producers could step in, and also with uh, the big consumers like the U.S. stepping in to uh, release some reserves uh, into uh, the market, we may not have a right. price escalate, uh, you know, for which we may be saved from uh, this doubling that is projected. But much, of course, will depend on how the local currency uh, is managed. You know, if the, 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 the international community is able to save the situation mm -hmm. uh, to freeze price, then we will have to do our own to yes, also sir. ensure that the, the city is stabilized. Well, clearly, we've seen the city depreciate over the period of the last three weeks gone by, and the projections obviously raises concern. But how about the taxes and levies on the LPG price build up as well because the LPG marketers are saying that government should consider either reducing some of the taxes and levies on there or scrapping them entirely. No, I think that is a good call. We have always been against uh, taxes on LPG. We never had it until, uh, we didn't have that much tax until I think 2015 when we did a major review. And at the time, you know, uh, international oil price was favorable. So when they introduced the taxes, it didn't really impact on the bottom line of the consumer that much. And it has been kept uh, since then. And the reality is that if you keep LPG uh, that expensive, you are not going to grow the demand. And given that it is also uh, a fuel that we've been promoting to get the poor to switch, uh, if we keep it that high, you're not going to get uh, uh, consumer uh, shifting uh, to use it and to save the environment because in Ghana, uh, a lot of places, uh, if you take out Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, the average use of wood fuel is around 80%. All right? So what that means is that all the other regions uh, are extensively using wood fuel and, and charcoal. And that is something we have to discourage. And to be able to discourage that, then you need to have an alternative that people can afford uh, uh, to be able to do that. But policy is not addressing that concern. Uh, and therefore, you only have Accra, and if you look at the Accra trend, it's just because the inconvenience of Accra living in a, a house that makes it difficult for you to even use charcoal or, uh, or wood fuel, people are compelled to use LPG. Other than that, we will probably see much more drastic shift uh, to wood fuel and charcoal than mm. we are seeing today. So policy has to address that to ensure that we can switch uh, from uh, wood fuel and charcoal to uh, LPG. And in the sub-region, uh, Ghana taxes more uh, on these uh, uh, fuels, and therefore we have to have a look at it if we really want to uh, promote the use of uh, LPG rather than uh, wood fuel and charcoal. If you check the statistics also, I mean, a lot of our carbon footprint uh, as a country is coming from uh, wood fuel, which about a quarter of our pollution comes from charcoal, and uh, uh, more than a quarter, I should say, comes from charcoal and wood fuel consumption. In the north, some regions are doing as much as 94% uh, of cooking with uh, uh, charcoal and wood fuel. And that right. is not something we need to encourage. And there's only policy that can address that. And the more we tax uh, LPG, it's, it's too repulsive for people to switch uh, uh, to, 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 to this. Uh, Mr. Bache, I thank you very much. Ben Bache is the executive director of the Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASEP.